stay tuned. Hey, smart homers, John Stone, the DIY smart home guy. Why the dramatic opening? Because today's episode features a dramatic home automation product. In short, Innovelli's back, and they're better than ever. What you're looking at is a prototype of the Innovelli LZW30-SN Z-Wave Plus on-off switch with scenes and notifications. I did an update video not too long ago providing some very good news about Innovelli. There's a link in the description below, and I suggest that you go and watch that video. And you know the drill, since you're headed that way anyway, stop by and click that subscribe button and spank that bell icon to be notified of future live broadcasts. From a company perspective, here's what's new. Innovelli has a new management team supporting the same rocking CEO, Eric Hines. As I mentioned in the other video, they have a new factory building their switches. Oh, and it's a line of Z-Wave Plus home automation switches that'll knock your socks off. They sent me this prototype switch to play with. You know, I don't cuss much on this channel, but f me. This little rascal blew me away, and while I don't proclaim to have seen every smart switch, this is the best switch I think I've ever seen. It's got everything I've ever wanted in a smart switch, and much, much more. Once these bad boys are released, you're going to want to take a serious look at this switch. Some of the items discussed may be out of date in the production version. Remember, I'm working from what may very well be the first of these switches ever made. I mean, look at this thing. The holes are rough drilled, there's tape designating what lug is what, and there's no Innovelli branding. The production versions will be in full Innovelli form, which means beautiful and sturdy. So don't let this prototype unit fool you. You should just feel lucky that you get a sneak peek into the greatness to come. But before you go thinking I'm on the Innovelli payroll, this video is not an endorsement and I receive no compensation for making this video. All product links in the description below are affiliate links and I may receive commissions if you purchase products from these links. Some products shown in the video were provided to me for free from the manufacturer. However, the video should not be considered an endorsement for any of these products. So what is it that makes this little firecracker so special? Well, could it be that it's capable of executing up to 13 unique scene commands from one switch? Maybe. Is it the built-in Z-Wave signal strength indication? <laughs> now that sounds pretty badass. Or maybe it's the ability to disable the internal relay from the switch itself. Eh, so what if you other switches do that? Or do they? Or is it the fact that this is the first Z-Wave switch that supports three-way switch installations with both dumb and smart add-on switches? Oh, and if you use the dumb add-on switch, you ain't gotta rewire the dumb add-on switch. I tested this with the handcrafted Innovelli device handlers on both SmartThings and Hubitat. I left a link to the Innovelli device handler page that'll allow you to find the latest and greatest software. I'm going to walk through this in both Hubitat and SmartThings, but I'm going to cover SmartThings first. If you want to jump ahead to the Hubitat area, here's the timestamp. You'll also find a shortcut to that in the description below. Using the SmartThings Graph API, drop in the device handler, save the code, and then publish the handler. Then, on the My Devices tab, select the Innovelli switch, scroll down to the bottom and click Edit. In the Type Select box, you should see the Innovelli driver that you just published. Select the Parent Handler and click Update. You're going to want to repeat these steps for the Child Handler. Give it a minute or two to propagate back to your hub and your SmartThings app. It's important to know that the, the time I made this video, custom device handlers only work in the classic SmartThings app. If you're trying to use the new SmartThings app and you're not seeing the enhanced functions, this is why. And once you have the handlers installed, let's check out the features of this rocking little toy. In the classic app, let's look at the settings before we touch anything else. You're going to see pretty much standard stuff here like the state after power restored, invert the switch, which is handy if you happen to install the switch upside down, never done that, and an auto off timer, but let's skip to the best part. Further down on the settings list, you'll see the LED strip color, strip intensity, yes, that means you can control just how bright that little light is, and the LED strip intensity when the switch is off. There are settings for power and energy reporting. Again, this is all really cool stuff, but here's one of the ones that's cooler than most of the other features with this switch. You can set up to four LED notification effects. 
What does a notification effect, you ask? Well, these can be used as indications on the switch itself when other smart things in your house take place. Like if your garage door is open, you can have the switch blink red as a warning. Oh my God. And for each notification, you can set the color, the level or brightness of the LED, the effect duration, which can be from seconds to five minutes, and unless you happen to pick the indefinite setting. And lastly, you can set the LED effect type, which includes solid light, fast or slow blink, and even a pulse. Aside from the ability to trigger these notifications through your automation, you can control them from the device page. Here's an example. I have a notification set to slow blink orange for 10 seconds. Pretty powerful stuff. For scene control, I mentioned that you have 13 native scene commands that are capable directly from the switch. These are accomplished by single or multi-tapping on the on and off sides of the switch. For example, you can tap the switch up six times to trigger scenes, and you can also tap it up to six times down to trigger different scenes. And this is a lot of scenes. Altogether, this is a total of 12 scenes that you can control directly from the paddle on the switch. So let's just take one example. A single tap up turns on the light associated with the Inovelli switch. Double tapping up turns on the light associated with this Zeus Zen 27. The off selections are the same in this example. You can also tap this configure button for one additional scene. And that makes 13. 13 scenes! This is madness! And while we're on the configure button, it's more than just a scene button. Hold the button down for somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds and the LED turns into a signal strength indication. This is a great feature when you're trying to pair the switch. I mean, are you even in range of a proper Z-Wave signal? Well, now you'll know. And if you tap that same button 8 times, it disables the internal relay. Better stated, it disables manual control of the relay from the switch. Not sure why you need this? Well, that is the very subject of my very next video. Stay tuned for that. But the crown jewel of this whole thing, I mean, the piece de la resistance. Piece de resistance, de la resistance. I don't know. I don't speak French. The piece de resistance. But as if any of that wasn't awesome enough, the really cool thing about this switch, over and above everything else, is how it handles three-way switches. I'm going to cover the Hubitat stuff here in just a minute. And if you want to go into the three-way switches, here's the timestamp, also in the description. Don't miss that. And you're going to want to skip ahead if you watch the smart things thing, because really, I am literally going to repeat almost everything I said exactly. Only I'm going to change the screenshots, and this is for the Hubitat users. And for your Hubitat users, I'm going to go through everything I just covered for the smart things users. Just, we're going to be inside Hubitat. On the Hubitat side, you will also need the custom Innovelli device handlers. There's a link to the Innovelli drivers in the description below. Using the Hubitat Custom Handler tab, drop in the device handler and save the code. Then on the Devices tab, select the Innovelli switch and change the device handler to the Innovelli ha handler you just loaded. Select the parent handler and click Save. Unlike the SmartThing app, the handler is available immediately, which means you Hubitat guys are ready to go. Now that the handlers are installed, let's check out some of the features of this super freak. You're gonna see pretty much standard stuff here like the state after power restored, invert the switch, which is handy if you happen to install the switch upside down, never done that, and an auto off timer, but let's skip to the best part. Further down on the settings list, you'll see the LED strip color, strip intensity. Yes, that means you can control just how bright that little light is and the LED strip intensity when the switch is off. There are settings for power and energy reporting. Again, this is all really cool stuff, but here's one of the ones that's cooler than most of the other features with this switch. You can set up to four LED notification effects. What is a notification effect, you ask? Well, these can be used as indications on the switch itself when other smart things in your house take place. Like if your garage door is open, you can have the switch blink red as a warning. Oh my God. 
And for each notification, you can set the color, the level or brightness of the LED, the effect duration, which can be from seconds to five minutes, and unless you happen to pick the indefinite setting. And lastly, you can set the LED effect type, which includes solid light, fast or slow blink, and even a pulse. Aside from the ability to trigger these notifications through your automation, you can control them from the device page. Here's an example. I have a notification set to slow blink orange for 10 seconds. Pretty powerful stuff. For scene control, I mentioned that you have 13 native scene commands that are capable directly from the switch. These are accomplished by either single or multi-tapping on either side of the button. For example, you can have up to five clicks on the up and you can have up to five clicks on the down and you have an additional hold the up and hold the down for a total of 12 combinations. Now this is different from the smart things where you had up to six double taps. Altogether, this is a total of 12 scenes that you can control directly from the paddle on the switch. So let's just take one example. A single tap up turns on the light associated with the Novelli switch. Double tapping up turns on the light associated with this Zeus Zen 27. The off selections are the same in this example. You can also tap this configure button for one additional scene. And that makes 13. 13 scenes! This is madness! And while we're on the configure button, it's more than just a scene button. Hold the button down for somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds and the LED turns into a signal strength indication. This is a great feature when you're trying to pair the switch. I mean, are you even in range of a proper Z-Wave signal? Well, now you'll know. And if you tap that same button eight times, it disables the internal relay. Better stated, it disables manual control of the relay from the switch. Not sure why you need this? Well, that is the very subject of my very next video. Stay tuned for that. But the crown jewel of this whole thing, I mean, the piece de la resistance. Piece de resistance, de la resistance. I don't know. I don't speak French. The pièce de résistance. But as if any of that wasn't awesome enough, the really cool thing about this switch, over and above everything else, is how it handles three-way switches. As I mentioned at the top of the video, you can use this with a dumb switch or a smart add-on switch. In this shot, I simply removed the line side of the three-way switch and wired in the Innovelli. On the load side, I left the dumb three-way switch intact with no rewiring, and it worked like a charm. But let's take the case where I'm replacing one of my older GE switches that already has a smart add-on switch. Again, I just replaced the original smart switch with the new Novelli, and bam, again, I left the line side alone, which is super simple. Now in the past, you would have had to decide before you bought your switches which way you were going, smart or dumb add-on switch. So. I'm sure that you can see why I'm so excited about the Switch. Remember, this is only an early prototype. I'm sure once the new ones are released, they will be beautiful and solid as a rock. And thanks again to Team Innovelli for sending this over and allowing me to play with it before the official release. It's very much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click like. Over here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks you can't live without. I happen to agree. Until next time. Cheers. There's a little I tested this with the handcrafted Innovelli device handler.